tomorrow I'm going to do something that is either brilliant or totally stupid and I know two things so you guys are going to absolutely love it and Primrose because she's six now and Grumpy is going to absolutely hate it because she hates other people and other animals. Anyway, I'm going to try and vlog everything that I'm doing and I'm going to try and upload it for you tomorrow night. You guys are absolutely going to love it, I promise. Um, I'll give you one clue and that clue is rain, okay? Anyway, now on to the point of the video which is... We're back homeschooling! Yay! Oh, 2021 was supposed to be such an amazing year. Um, but we are starting it off the way we we start kind of started 2020 with um homeschooling. So this is how to succeed at homeschooling. And honestly, I'm not sure I've got all the answers because nobody does at the moment. But the first thing I do know, and this is really, really important, is be realistic with what you can achieve. Now, everyone is going to be in completely different situations. You might be an only child whose parents work from home and you have a brilliant internet connection. In that case, you're going to do really well. Or you might have several siblings um, who, if your parents need to go out to work, you might be in charge of looking after those siblings while they are at home. There might be one computer between however many of you and your internet connection like mine is where I live it's actually really sketchy and just drops out literally all the time which is why it takes me ages to upload any videos so be realistic with what you can achieve if you know there is something going on during the day that means you won't be able to attend a live lesson or you've got just too much stuff going on to be able to complete every single lesson that is okay that is your life. That is perfectly fine. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with having stuff going on. A really good thing you can do is be realistic and honest with your teachers and explain to them in advance that you're not going to be able to attend the, the team's lesson on a Monday afternoon because you've got to look after your little brother or sister. But can they send you the work in advance and you'll do it later? Or, you know... Friday morning is your brother's turn with the laptop and you need to help him with his year 9 math so you're not going to be able to do your year 11, 12, 13 maths. Just be honest and open with your teachers. They know this is a truly horrific time for everybody and that not everyone is going to be able to achieve everything. And they knew this because they're going through this as well. They're probably having to work while homeschooling their own kids and potentially looking after other people i know i've already emailed my son's teachers to say it's great that you're doing so many online lessons but honestly i'm not doing drama um because i'm homeschooling two different primary years from tuesday which will be amazing i'm really really looking forward to it it is from tuesday because we're bunking school on monday for my surprise I'll tell you tomorrow. Hopefully I'll tell you tomorrow. Anyway, um, it is okay to not be perfect. That is fine. That is absolutely acceptable. Be open and honest with people. And if you need help, ask for help. The other thing I strongly suggest that you do is that you make a plan. Either at the start of every single day, the first thing that you're going to do, or make a plan for a week, like this beautiful plan up here. Or make a plan for a day like this one here and say look honestly this is where I'm supposed to be when this is what I need to have it look here I'm not gonna be able to make the team's lesson because so and so needs to use the computer or you know my mum's got a meeting that she has to be in and I can't like use the internet then because then my mum's meeting will be interrupted that's perfectly fine. That is allowed. Make a plan of what you are doing when. Now, you don't need to use my planners. You can just do this on a bit of paper. But make sure you know where you need to be when, what things you need when, so that at the start of every single lesson, you're not scrabbling around and doing 
things that you don't need to. It is also really good to just reflect at the end of each day to say, what things did I do really, really well? What can I say? Yes, this was amazing. I absolutely smashed this today. Or what bits do I need to go over and ask my teacher about? Because I didn't really understand that very well. So I am a big fan of making lists, which is why these now exist. But making a plan at the start of every single day will show you what is realistic, show you what is expected. If you like negotiate with your siblings or your parents to say, look, I need to attend my maths lesson because it's really, really important. So I need the computer and I need the internet at this time. But realistically, maybe I don't need to physically like be in the the teams lesson or the the um, google classroom lesson for this other subject because it's not so important so maybe so and so could do that maths lesson then so negotiation and teamwork within your little home unit is actually going to be really really important for this now there are a few things that i really really want you to do every single day now these may sound stupid but get up and have a shower and get dressed do not just sit around like maybe you did over the Christmas holidays just sit around in your pajamas all day and didn't always shower that's fine because it's Christmas holidays but we do need to start getting back into this we do need to um <clears throat> start doing school again so showering every single morning is important the other thing I want you to do is to get outside even if it is just for five minutes walking around the block getting outside the house getting some fresh air is going to be really really good for you there are lots of other things you can do to look after your mental health and it is important that you prioritize these things at the moment um but those are two really really simple really really easy things that you can do that will help you look after yourself another thing that is going to be really really easy for you to do is just to get all your resources ready now like if you've got monday it's an inset day then i spend monday getting all your resources ready so find your pens and your paper or you know if you don't have any lined paper lying around at home go and find some or email your teachers and ask them if they can send you some from school you know get all your workbooks ready i have loads of workbooks on my website that you can buy starting at like 249 that's less than you'd get a meal deal lunch for and you don't have to print them off you can just use them all online and they will do your maths or do your science or your geography or your spanish or french or whatever it is find the resources that you need and have them ready because the resources that are sent to you from school while i'm sure they're absolutely brilliant might not work in your situation so if you cannot use the internet um, for live lessons you're going to need something that you can use offline which is where workbooks my electronic workbooks are going to have them really really handy for you um so those are my top tips i don't really, really think they're top tips because we're all kind of like muddling through this um for surviving homeschooling so having a shower is important but as you can see i didn't straighten my hair today so be realistic about what you can achieve have showers don't straighten your hair are they my top tips yes i think so um anyway guys we will get through this together there is light on the other side the days are getting longer it is getting warmer believe it or not every single second we are closer to summer closer to the end of exams which i am i'm back down to 50 50 as to whether they're actually going to take place um but that is what is going on we will do this together ouch This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.